Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title of the video, today we're gonna be decorating my house for fall. Y'all, I'm so excited. As y'all know, fall is my favorite season. Last year, I feel like I really didn't get to decorate my house fully because we had just moved in. There was just a lot going on. And honestly, we didn't really have any furniture at the time because of just all of the delays with shipping. So we did like minimal decor, if you guys remember. If you haven't seen that vlog, I'll leave it down below in the description box. But this year, I wanted to make a whole video dedicated to me decorating my home. So I'm super excited. It will just be the downstairs of my home and kind of the part that everyone sees. But my vibe with just like seasonal decor in general is just to really kind of go very minimal and really neutral. So I have all of my decor laid out. As you can see, like just kind of like as like a little snapshot. It's very neutral, very like just kind of like minimal. I don't want to do too, too much, but I want to like have a little like I don't know, I just wanna feel festive. I wanna feel like, you know, it's a change of season. So I'm excited to show you guys what I'm doing to just incorporate fall decor in my home. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Let's get into it. All right, so like I said, this is what we're working for, for the decor. I also am going to do like a little matcha bar. So here is a little sneak peek of some of the stuff that I got for the bar. So I'm gonna start with the kitchen first. So let's decorate the kitchen. So I go between fresh flowers and faux flowers in this vase, but I'm just switching out the summer vibes and putting in the flowers for fall. So these are more kind of like dried flowers, which I got from Hobby Lobby. Again, completely faux, but you guys can find it at any Hobby Lobby or honestly you can find something like this at Michael's as well. And then I'm adding my fruit bowl on the island because I am gonna be making the matcha bar, which I'll show you guys later in the video. All right, moving on to the other side of the kitchen. So I'm adding this pumpkin jar that I got from Target, which I absolutely love. And then on the other side where the Lazy Susan is, where the salt, pepper, and oil is, I'm gonna add this rectangular tray that I got from Target, which I feel like it fits more of the vibes. It's more kind of this warm tone. So it's really nice for fall, but also just kind of nice to really kind of just switch it up a little bit. So I'm adding that tray here, and then I'm gonna put back the oil, salt, and pepper, and then also the mortar back onto the tray. I of course had to add a little touch of fall here so I'm just adding the little pumpkins from Hobby Lobby as well as the color one is from Target and here is the final look. All right, moving on to the breakfast nook. So I'm just taking out these florals and adding in kind of these faux pompous grass stems. I don't know really what to call it, but they kind of gave fall vibes to me when I saw them in the store. And honestly, I'm still kind of just deciding if I really like this look. I don't know, let me know down below in the comments if you guys are feeling this vibe. All right, I low-key forgot to get the matcha and just like the serves for the matcha bar because um, I'm switching matchas. So let's just go ahead and move to the living room and we'll come back to the matcha bar. So before I started to style this space, I just really wanted to make sure I had a clean slate. So I am just vacuuming the space. I found this really cute pumpkin pillow from Home Goods, so I'm just placing it here in front of this lumbar pillow. And I honestly had a hard time figuring out like where I wanted it, but I figured out like the middle of the lumbar looked the best, honestly. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments. All right, moving on to the coffee table. So I definitely wanted to add a little touch of fall here, but nothing too much. So I decided to put some pumpkins in the bowl, but I didn't really like the burnt orange pumpkins. They just weren't really matching the vibe. So I put in some pine cones instead, as well as the new neutral pumpkins and that kind of was more of the vibe that I was going for. All right and moving on to the fireplace so I really wanted to recreate the look that I did last year so I just added the pumpkins and candles kind of similar to the look I did last year but instead just added the burnt orange pumpkins that I got from Target here just to give it a little pop of color and I really love how it turned out. All right, moving on to the matcha bar. So I'm just prepping the area and I'm gonna add the tray that I got from Amazon, which 
all of my items on the matcha bar that I'm going to show you are from Amazon with the exception of the canister so I am actually really excited about that so I'm just showing you guys all the items that I'm going to use for the matcha bar in this cute little pumpkin thing which I love so I am just adding all of the syrups to the jar and like I said this is from Amazon I really love the look and vibe of this little like little glass dispenser I guess you would call it not a jar but a dispenser for all of your little serves and these serves are sugar-free I got this from Walmart but you also can order that from Amazon as well and then I'm just adding labels which of course you know okay you got to label all your things so these labels actually came with the dispensers which I really love they have a good variety of like just different serves you would normally get so I really love that about this product and then I'm just adding in the matcha to the canister that I got from Target I will say the scoop that I bought did not really fit into the canister uh, the handle broke so there's that but all in all the matcha bar really turned out to be a vibe and of course I had to add some touches of fall to it and you guys ah uh, I absolutely love this and in the entryway, I just added some very subtle touches just to kind of tie everything together. And I am in love how it all came out. Of course, it's not fall if you don't have a fall candle. So I lit that just to kind of bring everything together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.